Claudia Soto here. Today's video, we're going to be checking out Compass by TriPoint Homes. It is in the community, in the Master Pine community of Audie Murphy Ranch in the city of Menifee. So we're gonna be taking a look at these uh, model homes today so that you guys can get an idea of what um, they look like. And also, just FYI, the interest list is open as of right now. So it's January 6, 2022, and the interest list is open. So if you are interested in getting um, you and your family into one of these homes, definitely get on there um, contact us if you would like us to represent you we would be happy to um, and I'm gonna show you guys um, a couple of the models that they have they have three models and one of them is a next-gen suite we don't have um, one of them has a next-gen suite we don't have pricing on them yet because I you know they don't have the pricing out right now until the phase is released but what I do know is that the homes are going to be in the high 500s and i believe the next gen suite home is going to be in the high 600s um once i get an updated like price list or anything like that i will update this video at the bottom so that you guys have an idea of like where pricing is at um she wouldn't share the the rep in there wouldn't share with me like the last you know price um that the home sold for but um she kind of gave me a rough a rough estimate of like the high 500s and for the next gen suite home that's going to be in the high 600s um they are um an eight month build out so you do have to take into consideration these are new construction homes they are going to take about eight months to get um, built of course there can be delays you know with the variant coming out and all that um there could be some more delays but hopefully um you're looking at an eight month wait they do have I think it's about 18 phases that are that total that are going to be released. They are on phase 13, so they have a couple of more phases. So that's why I wanted to make this video because um, there is still a chance for you guys to get on the list and get one of these homes if you're interested in it because they do have like four phases left. So um, there are other builders in the area that are really like on their last phase or like last two phases. And so I think you know by the time I get the video up no more homes are going to be available but for this um community uh compass by tripoint homes they do have about four more phases left so that is great news and i'm gonna stop talking i'm gonna take you guys in to take a look at these homes and let me know your thoughts let me know which one was your favorite so let's get started the first home is the olive this is their spanish style exterior they do have a farmhouse style a ranch style and a craftsman style this home is 2,436 square feet. You have the option to have three to four bedrooms. If you get to three bedroom, you're not gonna have the den at the front of the home. You're gonna have a bedroom. And I'll show you guys the layout of this model. This model has the four bedrooms and that half bathroom. If you're interested in having the three bedrooms and the den in lieu of the four bedrooms, this area is where the fourth, or not the fourth bedroom, sorry, this is the fourth bedroom, but instead of this being here, it would be the den. And all of this would be cut off, and that half bathroom would not be there. And you would just have two bedrooms off on this side of the home. So the bedroom that would really be affected if you had the den would be this one. It would actually be a lot bigger. So you would have two good sized bedrooms plus your master bedroom if you chose to have the den. Now one of the things I love about the olive is the wide entrance. It gives you so much space to really just be able to put more storage in here and more, decor more decorations like that decorative table. We have a little storage here to the left is actually the garage door that I don't think I showed and you have your laundry room which is a great size you have a lot of room to organize your linens and your blankets 
Now at this hallway to the right, you see that door there? That is your coat closet. But if you chose to have the den, this is where the French doors to the den would be. The Olive offers a great open concept. This is an extended kitchen island and you also have a walk-in pantry, which if you got the den, I believe the walk-in pantry would be a little bit smaller. Um, it would be more of like a square or rectangular um, shape instead of that indent that goes forward. As you can see, you have a lot of space to put in a big sectional in your living room and a large dining table a lot of cabinet space now remember all of the lighting in here is an upgrade um, you know it's more of a design feature so check this out this is your standard six foot sliding door but you can always upgrade to this 12 foot sliding door on this side which will just let in a lot more natural light into your home Alright, so let's go back inside the house and now we're going to check out the master bedroom, which is separate from all of the other bedrooms in the home. Now for the master bathroom, there are a ton of upgrades that you can do in there, but check out their website to find out what those options are. Moving on to the next home. This is the Magnolia, and this is their farmhouse exterior. The house is 3,381 square feet. The Magnolia offers five bedrooms and three bathrooms. Now look at that entrance. I just love, love the stairways. Excuse me guys if my voice sounds a little choppy today. Um, I woke up <laughs> with like my voice kind of gone. <laughs> so upstairs you have your loft. You have your fifth bedroom down here, which actually is right around the corner from a full size bathroom. This would be your linen closet. And like I mentioned, you have a full-size bathroom right here, which this would be the bathroom that your guests use, but it's also great for that fifth bedroom to have their own bathroom, you know, with a complete shower right around the corner. The great thing about this bedroom is it has a walk-in closet. So this is a great option if you have in-laws living with you or um, extended family or even, you know, your older child. This is a great option. They have a walk-in closet, a good-sized bedroom, and a bathroom right around the corner. And more importantly, the kitchen is also right around the corner. And here is this huge closet. You can use it as your coat closet, but it does have more space down here for, you know, storing those big boxes and just anything you need. I've seen a lot of people actually remodel these little spaces into their like dog house and so it's like the dog's little hangout spot which is really cute, it's also an option. Um, I've also seen people transform them into like kid play areas where they just keep some of their toys in there. Um, so there's a lot you can do with that space. And then we have the kitchen. This is an extended kitchen island so it's not standard. You have some more cabinets leading to the garage and it also leads to the walk-in pantry.
This would be your living room area. Keep in mind this console and that sectional, they are huge and you still have a lot of room to walk around. Now let's check out that den. This would be great for an office, a play area. You can always close it off and turn it into another bedroom if you would like. Also, keep in mind these backyards are not the standard size. These lots are huge. Um, so your backyard would definitely not be as big as this unless you got a home on the cul-de-sac or if you bought one of the model homes. Now let's check up the upstairs. So upstairs, we're going to find the rest of the bedrooms and also the loft. Now, the thing I really love about the master bedroom here is dun, 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 this right here. Your door would be there and then you would have the master bath uh, bedroom split up into two sections. The bathroom portion with the closet and your bedroom area. You still have a walk-in closet. Enough to fill it up with your shoes and your clothes. You have a bathtub. And then you come out of the space into the actual bedroom area. So I personally love the separation of this. I haven't really seen it in a lot of models. Last but not least, we have the Sycamore model. This one is in the Craftsman exterior. It's 3,741 square feet. And, little surprise, it has a next-gen suite. So it has two separate entries, one for the house and then one for the next-gen suite. So let's go in. It's a little casita, so it has the living room area, a little kitchenette area, the private bedroom, and a private bathroom as well. Just to show you guys the size of this room, when you're sitting down, it isn't the biggest next-gen suite that I've seen, but there's definitely room for a little table and all of the things you need. This next-gen suite opens up directly to the house. You have access to the main house. And so this would be your guest bathroom. This is a half bath for the main house. And you're right back to the beginning of the home. We're going to check it out from the outside coming in. Just so you guys can get a view of this beautiful stairway. The Sycamore offers five to six bedrooms, three to four and a half bathrooms. You get a bonus room upstairs, and it's a three-bay tandem garage. The cool thing about this garage is you have the option to have another door, another garage door on that side. And you might be asking yourself, why would I need that? But sometimes people like to bring in things to their backyard, so that would be a great option to be
Now let's check up the upstairs. And I totally want to apologize. I filmed the left side of the home, um, which has all of the bedrooms that are upstairs, but for some reason they didn't save. So in this video, you, you guys are just going to get to see the upstairs loft and the master bedroom, which the master bedroom has um, really nice surprises in there. So I'll let you guys check those out right now. But also remember, there is a fourth home. It's just not modeled here in Menifee, and it's called the Savannah. And that one's a little smaller. It's 2,806 square feet. So keep that in mind. You can always check out their website and find all of the homes. I'll link it down below so you guys can take a look at those homes as well and take a look at all the options they offer um, in their brochure. Thank you guys so much for watching and let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. And like always, you can find our contact information in the description box.